about four hours after my neighbor was over and looked at his log and decided that uh, uh, he couldn't use it anymore. He, uh, he says, uh, what do you think we should do? And I was suggesting, well, maybe we could laminate some two by sixes together. Uh, four hours later, he's at my door with the two by sixes. So they feel pretty dry already. I'm pretty sure they went through the dryer because they're pretty light. But I don't want to take any chances. So I'm just painting the ends here. I'm going to leave them for about a month. Then the plan is I'm going to run them through the jointer, get the sides nice and flat, glue them together, use some waterproof glue, and uh, clamp them together. Well, you'll see, but it won't be for a month. Anyway, this is what's left of his log. My uh, other neighbor on the other side, he didn't want it for his fireplace. So uh, I thought, well, let's rip them up the middle and see what it looks like. And, you know, it's not, not too bad. I think I can maybe get a, a trillion pen blanks out of this. <laughs> anyway, uh, or maybe little tiny bowls. I don't know if I can get a bowl out of it because they are cracked here in the middle. So that would mean that the outer edge of the bowl would have a crack on it. But anyway, I, I, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but I'm not going to throw it out. I'm going to keep it. Anyway, just thought I'd give you an update on that. The, uh, the log series isn't over. Uh, we'll be continuing on, but we'll be using spruce lumber. I think it'll work a lot better. After I get them glued together, I'm going to uh, use the bandsaw to trim them down so that there's a lot less turning involved. Maybe I could have done that with this log too, I don't know. But this log was so heavy. You know, it's, it, it's, it's got to be three times heavier than this. Anyway, uh, got my order there from William Woodwright. I want to get going on that. Let's take a look at that box.